The Stalker Beetle is coming with update 110 and I've seen so much information about it, but this video is an attempt to synthesize all of that information and put it into one short video you can send to your buddies in preparation for its launch. I have experimented with most of the interactions the Beetle has, but if I missed one, comment below what you are curious about and I will try to answer. So, the Stalker Beetle is a new consumable releasing with update 110. It unlocks at Bloodline rank 15 and it costs 45 hunt dollars. You can pilot the Beetle in a sort of dark sight mode, drop pings for teammates, and hold the fire button to cause a 5 meter radius explosion. The detonation causes 5 damage, medium bleeding damage, and medium poison damage, which means you can't heal for about 10 seconds if you get hit. The beetle has a maximum range of 150 meters, but no time limit, at least at the time of making this video. You can buy the beetle in the store or find them in these cocoons that spawn at large trees around the map. You can destroy the beetle in all the usual ways you deal damage, including shooting it. Okay, and on to testing. Let's start with a few miscellaneous picks. The beetle has a maximum altitude of its max range, so 150 meters from the pilot. If you take damage while piloting, you are pulled out of the camera. Putting a trap on a pilot will trigger the trap. The fastest way to deploy a beetle is to throw it at your feet rather than in the air, but you lose the distance gain of a throw. The beetle can benefit from three traits, Blade Seer, Vigilant, and Poison Sense. Here's what those look like left to right. In the objective category, when in range, the beetle will contest clues for players as a normal hunter would, which means beetles can make clues red. The same is true for the Dark Sight Whispers at the bounty. If a beetle enters the compound, you get a red flash. The beetle does not block extractions. It did, but the devs changed it based on player feedback. And finally, the beetle does not use Dark Sight Boost, so it will not consume your seconds, nor will it mark enemy hunters in orange. Beetles can get the killing blow on bosses though, if you were curious about that. The beetle can be heard about the same distance as a hunter running in a quiet environment. It does aggro AI enemies, meaning it can startle birds, horses, grunts, and all the usual sound traps, except it does not aggro water devils, even if you crash into the water. As a hunter, if you get in a chicken coop, the chickens will eventually go quiet if you stand still. The same is not true for the stalker beetle. The chickens never go quiet. Alternatively, if you hop into a dog kennel as a hunter, you will die, but the dogs do not attack the beetle. They simply accept the beetle as one of their own. Grunts will aggro from the beetle, but they will not attack it. However, this is a good way to kite them around, even move a Dr. Grunt into a better location. And then let's talk about the barriers in the environment. The beetle explosion can be used to close lever doors and crank doors. The beetle explosion can also open and destroy swinging doors, and that includes windows and shutters. It will not break rolling doors alone, so you will need to weaken them first. And the same is true for barricaded doors, but you can hit them from the barred side to open them. The beetle cannot fly through glass, but it can be thrown through it. And finally, the beetle does not work in water. If you fly into the water, you get kicked out of the camera. And now let's talk about barrels. There are three barrel options, red explosive barrels, yellow fire barrels, and green hive barrels. Beetles cannot detonate red or yellow barrels with the explosion. They can break nearby lanterns or set off traps, but they do not explode the red and yellow barrels alone. However, beetles can break green hive barrels with its explosion, so use that responsibly. On to consumable and tool interactions. Most consumables will destroy a stalker beetle if it's in the effective radius, but there are some exceptions. Choke bombs knock beetles safely out of the air, which means you can pick them up. That applies to the hand crossbow as well. Poison clouds will destroy them, as will fire and the wideout effect radius of a flash bomb. That's when you get the hit marker. Hive bombs will not lock onto beetles. Sticky bombs can stick to them, and yes, you can use those to kill hunters. I previously said they couldn't, but I just happened to get an edge case that broke the beetles when I tested it. A new beetle has enough health to be stuck once, which means chaos bombs also work for some moving diversion tactics. However, the bomb lance bolts do not stick, they just kill the beetle. Beetles can set off traps by flying into them or exploding near them, and they can also clear concertina using the explosion, but flying into concertina will kill them. 
And lastly, beetles cannot detonate sticky bombs floating in water. And that's it. That is everything you need to know about the stalker beetle. Hopefully that helps you. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and check out my other guides. Until the next video.